hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we're going to be learning what hair porosity is so sit back relax and enjoy the video now hair porosity is the ability of your hair to retain or absorb moisture now it's important that you know the porosity of your hair if it is high if it is low or if it is medium in order to know what products to use and how to effectively use them for your hair growth so usually we hear people say, oh, cancer doesn't work for me, or shea butter doesn't work for me, or no, I don't really do living conditioners, oh, I don't really like coconut oil. Why these? This is because you do not know your hair porosity. You don't know what products to use and how effectively to use them for the type of hair that you have. And so today I'll be showing you guys how to know your hair porosity level and there are three ways to know your hair porosity level. The first way is the cup method and we're going to put a strand of freshly washed hair into the cup. Okay, so this is our cup of water and we're going to be doing the cup test. So here's a strand of freshly washed hair in my hand and I'm going to drop it. So we're going to wait for about two to three minutes to know if my hair is low porosity or high porosity. Now if this strand of hair should sink, it means that I have high porosity. But if the strand of hair should float, it means I have low porosity. And if it stays in the middle, it means I have medium range porosity level. So guys, after two to three minutes, as you can see, the strand is still floating. There it is still floating this means low porosity the hair second test to determine the porosity of your hair is to take a part of your hair and wet with water now if you can see you can see that the water beads are still on my hair and they are not penetrating. So you can see the water beads still on the hair. Now low porosity means that your cuticles are sealed and it doesn't allow for moisture to penetrate or to be absorbed quickly. This means that products usually sit on top and it takes a great deal for you to have to use your hand to massage products even into your hair. Now, if you had done this spray test and the water absorbed into your hair, this just means that you have high porosity hair and your hair has open cuticles and allows for um, products to get in quickly. The third way of knowing if your hair is high or low level porosity is to take a strand and work your hand through the strand. Now if you notice that there are bumps, that means your hair is high porosity. But if no bumps, it just means your hair is low porosity. Now how do you take care of low porosity hair? Low porosity hair means you need to use warm water to open up the sealed cuticles of your hair in order to let products enter. It also means you have to work in sections, mostly twists, in order for products to be able to penetrate better into your strands and give you the effect needed for them. Another thing you can do is to always deep condition. It is very important to deep condition immediately after washing your hair. Always deep condition your hair. And it also means that your hair is protein sensitive, which means that you cannot overuse protein. If not, it will lead to breakage and thinning of your hair. The last way that you can know if you're high or low level porosity is to wet your body and your hair. Now, if your body dries faster than your hair, it means that you are low porosity. But if your body doesn't dry faster than your hair, it means that your hair absorbs the water and it means that you are high porosity. So if you are wondering what you should be using for your low porosity hair, there are light oils and there are heavy oils that you can use for your low porosity hair in order for these oils to be absorbed into your sealed cuticles. 
yes as i said before you have to use warm water to open up your cuticles you also have to use heat when you're using deep conditioners or when you're using butters in order to enable it to penetrate into your hair cuticles so the light oils that are very good for low porosity hair are sunflower oil sunflower seed oil grape seed oil argan oil we also have coconut oil we also have almond oil these oils are very good for and oba oil also these oils are very good for low porosity low porosity hair now the heavy oils that we have are olive oil castor oil and butters now these are heavy oils that are very good for low porosity hair if you have high porosity hair it means that your hair can absorb it but your hair cannot retain moisture how can you help your hair to retain moisture is to incorporate the use of heavy butters especially in your deep conditioner or your leave-in conditioner make sure it is heavy enough so that it can retain in your hair so thank you guys again for watching this video i hope you take the porosity test to know your hair porosity level and to be able to prescribe the right products for your hair if you haven't subscribed please do that down below don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share this video to all your friends once again thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye